Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This side Sahil back again with another video. And in this video, we are gonna see how we can install Windows Server in our Ubuntu and you can say any Linux VPS. So in my case, I am using DigitalOcean and I have used the word uh, free, how to create a free RDP in this title. That's because I am providing you three links in the description so that whenever you sign up use that link, so you will get $100 free credit from each platform. So total it's $300. So you, yes, you can create Windows Server for uh, up to $300 for 63 days each and that's why it's called uh, how to create a free RDP so without wasting any time let's get started so I have already logged in in my digital ocean the process is almost same in digital ocean in Linode and Walter as well I, in this case I am using digital ocean if you want if you want me to create a separate video for Linode and Walter uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section I'll make a video for this right now uh, let's create a droplet Uh, OS, I am setting at default Ubuntu 20.04. I am not changing it. Configuration, I want the max because I want this video to end as soon as possible because it saves your time. If I choose a low configuration VPS, then it will take so much time in installations and commands, running commands as well. So this will use more time of yours. So you can choose 4 GB RAM is enough. In your case 2 gb is not enough maybe because we are installing windows 8 gb more than enough 4 gb is enough so you can choose whatever you want in between region we are choosing new york data center 3 password i have already created it so let's paste this password okay all set now we just need to rename this I am renaming just for formality. You can use it default as well. And uh, okay, all set. Create a new droplet. So guys, our droplet has provisioned successfully. Now we need to click on this. Click on recovery section. First, we need to turn off this machine. Now we need to select this option, boot from recovery ISO. Then again, we need to turn on this machine. Now we need to click on recovery console. Choose the last option by pressing fix. Sorry, fix, then press enter. Now we need to run this command and don't worry about this lengthy command. I'll provide this in the description of this video. So that you just need to copy and paste like I did. Right click, paste. Press enter. Now this download process will take some time depending upon your internet speed. In my case, it's showing me almost four to five minutes. So till this process complete, I'll fast forward this video to save your time. So guys, our Windows image file has been downloaded successfully. It will slow down a bit at the end, uh, but don't worry about that. 
just wait patiently to completing the process. Now we need to close this window. Again, we need to turn off this machine. Then we need to select boot from hard drive. Now again, we need to turn on this machine. Click access. Launch recovery console. Our windows has been loaded. So we need to use this password. I'll share in the description as well. Okay, uh, we logged in into our windows. Now we need to do one step to enable internet connection. Go to start button. The mouse on this console will trouble a bit, but don't worry once we enable internet and uh, after that we need to log in through RDP. So that mouse would be okay. Type network and sharing. Select this option. Click change adapter settings. Double click on Ethernet 2. Click properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Go to its properties. Select this option. Now enter these details mentioned on the footer public IP address 159-203-121-204 subnet mask 255-255 uh, this is showing something wrong we need to enter a 224 and 0 I don't know why it's showing 240 now gateway IP 159 203 1121 1. Now we need to enter a DNS. We can use Google DNS to check 8.8.4.4. Now we need to click OK. Close. Now, as you can see, our internet has been enabled in this RDP. Now we click this yes button. And now we can close this window. Now copy IP from here. In Windows, search RDP. Enter the IP here. Show more options. Username, administrator. Allow me to save credentials. Save. Connect. Enter the same password. OK. Yes. Now guys, as you can see, our RDP has been successfully configured and internet connection is also enabled. So I hope you like this video. Uh, if you like that video, please hit the like button. And if you did not like this video, please hit the dislike button. So that because as you can see, I am new to this platform. So I didn't have much videos and much experience as well. So your input matter.
because whenever you like or dislike any video uh, it keep me knowing that my content is good i am delivering quality content or not so if not then this led me a chance to improve my content so thank you very much